The student can no longer bear the frustration of feeling invisible and worthless. So he makes up his mind that he's going to share his frustration with his professor. When he arrives at the professor's office, his heart begins to race and his palms begin to sweat. But there's no time for fear. He knocks on the door. On the other side of the door, he, he hears the professor say, come in. Casting his fears aside, he turns the door handle and enters the professor's office. Without a greeting, he nervously and aggressively begins to share his frustrations. Here I am. I finally made it to your office, but it took me a lot to convince myself that coming to see you would make a difference because in your class, you tend to ramble on about a subject matter that you are passionate about. And I get that, but I'm a subject too. Are you passionate about me? Concerned about me? Yeah, it sounds selfish, you might say, because you have so many students to whom you must deliver the course material. But when I raise my hand, it troubles me when you look at me with disdain because you have perceived that I don't understand or even more that I don't know. I watch how you inter interact with the students who grasp the material. Throughout the lesson, you all share smiles and interactions. But when it comes to those like me, those who tend to struggle, it seems you look clean through me, but fail to see the me that I could be. Newsflash, I don't know anyone in this class. And the one person that I'm trying to get to know and who could possibly help and provide me with guidance only says, see me during office hours. And I scream in my mind, I'm not coming to see you. You make me feel like I don't belong when I'm in your class. And I don't know if you'll try to demean me further during your office hours. I'm new to this college scene. And from where I'm from, I'm the first. So please, just show me you care. It is very hard for me to express the message that I'm about to attempt to communicate because for my entire life, I have been told that my problems are my problems and that I need to figure out how to solve them. Over time, I developed this sense of pride that masked so much ignorance because help was always miles away despite the many people that surrounded me. So, Am I really supposed to drop the mask and run from the facade? I don't know. Ooh, there, I said it. Wow, I didn't know that it would make me feel so amazing to express that statement. I feel liberated, I feel empowered, I, I feel lost, yet I feel found. Now that I've expressed to you one of my most hidden truths, what are you going to do? Professor, before you make up in your mind about the messages that you want to deliver, allow me to express myself a bit further because your vocabulary may be from a land unknown to a student like me. Before you spout off words at me that you so commonly use, understand what it took for me to share my vulnerability and at least make your statement sound like you care. I stopped saying, I don't know, a long time ago because it became much easier for me to pretend like I had it all together and squared off. In actuality, I'm completely lost. You see, I'm the first person in my family to ever reach this platform and stick with it. That is in no way, shape or fashion a blow to the intellectual ability of my people because sometimes life just happens. There's some things you need to know about us students who have never seen anyone in our family graduate from college. Students who American society would call minorities and have already sold us short. Students who grew up frequently wondering where will we get our next meal? Whether mom or dad would be able to afford to buy us a jacket for the cold. Students who often come to contemplate not going home daily because the first thing in our minds was, is it safe to go home today? Many of us are emotionally scarred. We are trusting you to lead us. We are trusting you to teach us. We are trusting you to inform us. We are plastered with doubt. We doubt we belong and we doubt we will succeed. Professor listens intently as the student expresses himself and asks, my dear student, why are you in college? You know, I don't really know why I'm in college. I don't know anything about declaring a major. 
I honestly haven't figured out what I want to do with my life. One thing is for sure though, I do want a bright future. I want a prosperous future. I want to be able to provide for myself and possibly a family. I need your help. The real reason I'm here is, is because I heard many of the old heads say, go to college, get an education, make something of yourself. The only problem I have with that statement is most, if not all of them, had never graduated, graduated from or gone to college. And I'm here because of their advice to get an education. That is as far as my vision has traveled. I need your help to make something of myself. Professor, which is more important for you? The subject that you teach or the subject you're trying to reach? There's an old African proverb that states, people don't care about how much you know until they know how much you care. So professor, why are you here? Is it to collect a check or to develop the minds of tomorrow? They stare at each other speechless. Neither one of them can believe the words that just came out of the student's mouth. But before the professor can respond, the student quickly transitions into the next thing that needs to be aired out. Close chapter one.